वेलकम टू स्कूल ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग एज वी हैव स्टार्टेड इस सीरीज अबाउट ई टैप्स ट्यूटोरियल सो फॉर दैट इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एनालाइज दिस अबाउट रूफ ट्रास सो हेयर आई विल use some different method or different way to analyze this or to make the frame and in my previous video I have used also some tricks if you don't see that you can see the link given in description so let's start You are seeing that here is our roof truss. So we'll analyze that. So first of all, you have to see that here a span of this truss is one zero three feet. Height of the truss is twenty five point seven feet. Twenty five point seven feet, and the a span from that point to that point I mean total uh, span of the trust is 0 0.3 103 um, feet so at first open it up you can check my previous video you have any confusion uh, if you if you have any confusion in etabs and uh, in this video i will just uh, go quickly little bit so from here at first open new model go here uh, before that use save as use a default setting as um, their value are given in feet so we'll use that and here the important thing what will what will use our grid grid spacing and grid number and uh excluding dimension here we're seeing that uh, we'll just consider about here one grid here one grid two grid and here one grid three grid and in uh, S3 we'll take only two S3 because there have one line and there have one line I mean three grid in X direction and two S3 or you can also take on S3 that's not matter Grid number of grid three number of grid 3 and in y direction 1 a spacing of grid in x direction so how will be the spacing here we are seeing that uh, our total distance is 103 feet so our spacing will be um, as uh, we have get, get 3 like grid 1 2 and here 3 I mean L not 1 L 3 2 and L 6 3 so it will be divided in two part so our distance will be 51.5 feet 51.5 feet and uh, while we is like will not change that and here our S3 will be 1 we will divide the S3 in 1 and uh, our value will be 25.75 here height of the s is 25.75 also provide 25.75 okay okay then we have to select elevation one apply okay 
that oh, make it so. here here is our uh, grid so now we have to draw at first beam I mean frame line I uh, will uh, take any one from here because I uh, will not consider the beam weight what uh, frame weight here only will analysis for the provided load so first of all from select here then 51.5 then here also 51.5 and then we can connect here and then here we will click here select that point and go assign joint restraint no reaction apply okay here no reaction now uh, we're seeing that there are three portion one two three one two three and in this part also one two three so we'll divide will divide uh, the one part in three portion and another part in three portion so here click here go edit edit frame divide frame and here provide three as you're going to divide in three portion okay and here it's not matter there have uh, there uh, come to support will delete that again select another site and go edit frame and divide frame 3 apply okay so here up 1 2 3 1 2 3 there are 3 3 part click here click here click here click here select that and go to assign join restraint no join apply so we found our joint point but mm, now again we have to divide that portion how much portion will make that I uh, here have uh, one two three four one two three four four part so we'll divide it in four part edit frame divide frame four part apply apply select again on this part also will divide in four part edit edit frame divide in four part apply okay so we get one two three now uh, first of all we'll draw the internal truss so we'll start from there let's start first of all select any beam from here then select from here the first joint from here not not in that joint we'll select the middle joint then this joint then this joint then click here and click right click uh, outside and it will be out again now um, we'll do it for another part again select frame click here click here click the middle point down here back in here so we have draw that and that have one portion like in here so from here to here and here to here we go again select from here to the middle point oh sorry uh, now we have to again we have to break that and break that in two point select we select two frame and divide the frame in two part apply okay done now we'll draw click here re left click left click and here left click and go outside right click again click here left click left click left click and go outside right click done our frame are ready now we have to 
do some another work that first of all we have to select all frame uh, we have to select all frame cause and now we have to define in etaps that this is a truss different etaps don't know about who is a trust who is a beam or who is a column so we have to provide that we have to defend that it is a trust for that go assign frame release partial or flexibility and from here we'll remove moment because we, we know the trust don't carry any moment apply okay again select all frame from here pd select ps click here all have selected and then again we have to go assign frame and property modifier and we'll give here zero mass and zero weight because uh, we'll analyze it only for its provided load i mean only for point load then apply okay click here for undeform shape now we'll provide load in the joint point so to provide load select where you want to provide load uh, i'll provide this 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 joint because we know that truss only carry load in joint so that joint and also that joint i'll not select that side the three joint first of all i will app provide load in three joint assign join load force and then the first of all i'll provide load in x direction add load global x direction two keeps so apply they have to keep load in x direction again i will delete that select delete and I, again i will select that three joint and i will provide load in z direction but it i'll provide it in opposite direction so that product is minus one key apply apply okay um, here again we we'll select here go assign frame load sorry join load force we we'll provide one keep in downward direction and keep uh, I have provided here minus but um, here uh, first time I have provided here plus because uh, when we provide value in X direction or global X direction and if we provide the value positive the it has considered that the value is according to X direction but now I will provide value in opposite direction of X that why I have provided here 3 so apply here okay now you're seeing that the loader opposite direction now i will select here and again i will provide some join load here force i will delete that i'll delete that and it, as it is z direction i will provide her minus apply to keep you can also provide load here here sorry here 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 as as you need you can provide load there so let's provide some load there assign joint first it will be in z direction minus 0 0.5 apply okay now our everything are ready oh before that uh, we have to define our support so there have a hinge support and 
in that side will provide roller support so click here assign joint restraint and roller apply they have low roller support and they have fixed support nothing to worry that on that a value have gone we can see it from here click display joint load click here force dead dot apply the roll load close that and now click here for analysis before that we have to save save f r a trust d r u trust one apply it analyzing and here is a deformed shape of the frame here is a deformed shape of the frame so i will delete that portion and here is a deformed frame and here we'll see our reaction value fx f here is our reaction reaction value for that and uh, close that area reaction for 5.4 to 4 point something 3 and uh, we'll also see bending moment so axial force apply this is the axial force of the frame see it in elevation view one apply okay this is the value of axial force and uh, if we see shear it's a zero if we see moment it's a zero because um, we define that the value of moment value of trust is zero get close and um, in this way we can analyze truss beams frame simply supported beam frame etc and uh, already i have provided a uh, five video about that if you don't see that you can see that thank you thank you very much still stay connected